Portanto, o Marco está dizendo que quase que não se pode dizer We're in the most ancient corner of Monte Cassino Monastery. Up above me, the great abbey has been rebuilt. It recovered from its wartime destruction. But down here, there's a room that's not shown to the public. In fact, it's never actually been filmed before. And what you find in here is a great mass of material that was pulled from the rubble. What you see is bits of marble columns, bits of ornate door surrounds, mantel pieces perhaps, you get a sense of just how destructive the bombing was. Stepping in here is a little bit like stepping back to that moment when the fighting stopped and here you get a rather grim reminder of the killing that went on on the slopes around the monastery. Thousands of soldiers dying on both sides in that conflict. And what would the statue tell us if it could tell its story? Over here, some bits of fresco and paintwork, including an image of St. Benedict, the holy man who founded this monastery so long ago. Some of this material will be from very valuable pieces, grand works of art, sculptures and so on, but a lot of it too is much more simple things, dishes and plates that the monks of Monte Cassino might have used way back in the Dark Ages. And the room goes on and on up there. It's a sort of time capsule where the monastery has buried some of its darkest memories of its wartime destruction.